Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on automatically formatting our Django code by utilizing the black library. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you need to ensure that you have in place is a Django project that you want to apply this to. Then we want to install the black library within our application. So we can copy that and you just want to say pip install black. Very simple. So it may have some sub packages that come along with it. So we're just going to want to be patient as it installs all of that. And then we can continue from that point onwards. All right, so we can see it has been installed. Good. Now we can go to our application. And for this demonstration here, I'm going to be working with a Django app that I created called CRM. And in CRM, I have a models.py file here. I have a urls.py file and I also have a views.py file and let's just take a look at them. So if we look at my models.py file here, you can see it looks quite unorganized. You can see it's not been formatted properly. Uh, we can see, for example, the equal signs here are off. We can see that we haven't set up our indentations correctly for this models.py file. If I look at my urls.py file, you can see here that, for example, the order structure is completely off. So I have one pass here and then I have another pass below, but the structure and indentation is completely off. If I go to my views.py file, I have the same sort of situation. So as you can see here, not everything is indented nicely on the next line. And that's also preventing the rest of my views here from actually being executed properly. I can also see I need to indent my return render statement as well. Now, this black library here is going to help to format our code for us. Now, this can be very helpful if, for example, we are working on a project and we either were rushed or we didn't pay attention to um, a specific file or such, and we just want to automatically clean it up. And this can also just be used for simple indentation purposes or just to clean the whole structure of our code. It can also be very useful if you're looking at someone else's code in terms of their Django projects and you want to adjust it nicely. So I'm going to show you how you can clean this up automatically. So the first thing you need to do is go into the app directory, so the Django app, where your models.py file, urls.py file, and views.py file are, for example. So here I have CRM, and I just want to say CD CRM. Okay, so I'm now in that directory. So now I have access to models.py, urls.py, and views.py. So I'm going to close this up. Now all that you want to do is you just want to simply go on ahead and say black, and then you want to refer, let's start off with the models.py file. So I'm going to say black models.py, and this is going to apply the black library to models.py, which is in the CRM folder. So I can apply that. And as you can see, everything is completed. We've got a nice icon here, and we can see one file has been reformatted. And if we head on back, we can see, look at this, a lot cleaner and a lot more fresh. So that is how you can see everything has been cleaned up for us. You can see it's a lot more readable, a lot more user friendly to take a look at our code. Let's head on to the urls.py file as well. You can see this looks quite ugly. Let's go ahead and format this. We can just say black and it's the urls.py file. Okay, everything has been completed. One file has been reformatted. And as you can see now, it now looks a lot cleaner. We can see that our pass URLs here are now nested under line by line by line, and it's a lot more readable for the user at hand. Right, now let's go to the views.py file, and let's adjust this. So again, let me just close this up, and I'm going to say black, and this is views.py. There we go. One file has been reformatted. And as you can see now, we've got everything here in place. Now, sometimes the format isn't going to catch everything, so you might need to make an adjustment. So here, I just want to indent that, and everything else as is, is perfectly as it should be. All right. So as you can see, it does a great job just to clean everything up for you uh, and do it the best it can. All right. So sometimes you do need to manually um, go ahead and have a quick check, 
but generally speaking, it will clean just about everything for you as you saw in the URL and in the models.py file. All right, so that's all that I wanted to mention here in terms of the Black Library. So it is very useful, and as you can see, the use case of it to just clean up and format your code automatically for you and just to clean stuff up. So if you have lots of code that's messy, out of place, and you just want to organize it and you don't want to have to deal with indentation, for example, and you just want things to be nice and coherent, you can utilize this very effective library here that you can use and it's going to save you a ton of time. So even if you must manually interfere and just change a bit or two, it's going to save you a lot of time to utilize this library to also help you to speed up the process a lot faster as you will have noticed. All right guys, so that's it for this video tutorial and as always thank you for the support and I hope to see you again. Goodbye and thank you for the support.